Hey, Carl, yes, we have lower stocks, lower yields, much higher continuing claims, and significantly lower Philly, eight negatives in a row. Well, leading economic indicators for March is joining that list. 12 negative consecutive months in a row, minus 1.2%. That is the weakest month-over-month -month change since April of 2020. And to top it off, a negative revision in the rearview mirror from down three-tenths to down five-tenths. And also out, existing home sales for the month of March. And for that, we head east to Diana Olick. Diana? Well, Rick, existing home sales in March dropped 2.4% month to month to a seasonally adjusted annualized rate of 4.4 million units, according to the realtors. That's right along expectations. Sales were 22% lower than March of last year. These are closings, so contracts signed in January and February when mortgage rates came down and then shot sharply higher. Supply did thankfully come up a little bit, but still historically low. Total inventory at the end of March was 980,000 units. That's up 1% from February and up 5.4% from a year ago. But at the current sales pace, it's still a 2.6 month supply. A six month supply is considered a balanced market. Now that tight supply is keeping prices from cooling as much as some might have thought. The median price of a home sold in March was $375,700, down 0.9% year over year. That's a second straight monthly drop. But prices actually rose in every region except the West, which is, of course, where homes are most expensive. All cash still big at 27% of sales. But investors are pulling back at just 17%. They had been as much of a quarter of the market last summer. Back to you guys.